what's up welcome back to another video my name is caitlin if you're new and in today's video i'm going to be recreating rosie huntington whiteley looks for winter so rosie is one of my absolute favorite fashion icons she is who i look to the most i would say probably for fashion inspiration i think that her looks are so classy they're so timeless they're so elegant and at the same time trendy which is kind of hard to do, but somehow she does it. So I also find that because her looks are so classic and timeless, they are very easy to recreate on a budget and just as a regular person, not as someone that has exposure to the brands and the clothing pieces that she does. So I really appreciate that about her style and someone else who does that very well is Hailey Bieber. I feel that their styles are pretty similar but anyway so I wanted since it's winter I wanted to find some of my favorite looks of hers that can be either transitioned to winter very easily or already or are already winter looks so I've got I think like five ish looks for you that I'm going to be styling and replicating from her photo inspiration so I will make sure to tell you where I got the piece I will have Similar pieces linked below and I will make sure to let you know if the piece that I'm wearing is thrifted or not thrifted. So that being said, let's get into it with look number one. All right, so here's the very first look that we are recreating. Just a classic trench coat with the classic button down, classic black pants, a nice bag, and some heels to tie it all together. So I said the word classic because I feel that a button down, a trench coat, and black pants are all something that everyone should have in their wardrobe. Whether it's a white button down, a black button down, whatever color that you feel comfortable, most comfortable in, same with the color trench coat, and a pair of black pants everyone should have, whether it's jeans, whether it's trousers, whether it's leggings, anything. So in the photo of her, she has on a pair of heels that are definitely meant for spring or warmer weather. You can see her feet, they're mesh, they're these beautiful Bottega heels, but just not really good for winter. So I decided to swap out the heels for a pair of heeled booties, and then obviously I don't have that same type of bag, so I decided to pair it with this one, which is from Forever 21. So let's go through my outfit. Trench coat is actually Burberry but I do have a thrifted trench coat that I will be showing you in one of the upcoming outfits. So this is Burberry from The Real Real. And then the button down that I have underneath is from H&M. Pants are Zara, shoes are Zara, then bag is Forever 21. So here is look number one. The next look is this one, and this is clearly a winter outfit. She's got a big sweater on with a big fur coat, and clearly she is dressed for winter so in order to replicate this look which was so pretty simple i paired this black sweater which you will see a lot from h m and i paired it with a pair of blue jeans these are just a pair from levi's and then a pair of black boots i was not able to tuck my boots into the jeans like she has here because I don't have a pair of jeans and boots that work like that and work together like that. So um, I opted for these, which work just as well. And then this big oversized fuzzy coat, teddy coat, that I don't know where it's from. It was a gift from my dad for Christmas last year. So I will make sure to try and find a link to some a similar coat below. And then just paired it with the brown bag to match the look. And then threw my hair back like she has. This next look is obviously a winter look as well. And I chose this outfit because I thought that the way that she had the scarf draped over the top of her was super unique and something that I hadn't seen people do over such a heavy jacket. So I really just wanted to test this out and see how it looked. And this sweater that I'm using right now is from H&M but guaranteed you can go to a thrift store and find an oversized sweater even if you just bought a sweater for two dollars and used it for draping purposes i've draped my sweater like this so many times i can't even count so what she's got on is 
I we can't obviously see anything that she's wearing underneath but underneath I wore a black turtleneck with black leggings and then black boots that are similar to hers and then mine are from H&M very similar style though all of these are still in stock I will make sure to link them I love these boots I've had them for over a year now and I wear them with everything but I just did a black uniform essentially underneath, paired it with a fuzzy overcoat, and then draped a sweater on top. And I opted for this bag. I liked how this bag tied in the black instead of adding another color to the look. So this one is thrifted. Leggings are yummy. And then sweater station up. But this next outfit, the thing that I loved most is how it was all basically monochrome from the same color palette. I personally didn't have the right clothes to create a similar color palette, but instead I just took the structure of the outfit and recreated it that way. So I took a jacket to drape over my shoulders like she has, and then I just paired a black turtleneck that I've been wearing in the past like three outfits. And I paired it with a pair of black trousers tucked into the boot to give it that baggy look that she has in the photo. And then I just paired it with a bag that tied the whole outfit together. But coat is thrifted, T turtleneck is from H&M, trousers are thrifted, boots are from Revolve. Bag is thrifted as well. For this next look, I did a little bit of a different color palette as well. Same as the last one. I took basically the structure of the outfit and then I recreated it using my own color palette with the pieces that I had that would work for this look. So what I did was I took a pair of trousers and a sweater and I tucked the trousers into the boot again just like I did in the previous outfit and then threw a blazer on top of it. So this outfit is very similar to the last one. I just decided to take this one a little bit further and make it a little bit more structured so the sweater is tighter the trousers are tighter the trousers tucked into the boot is not as baggy and then instead of a oversized jacket I threw on a oversized blazer which does give a little bit more structure to the outfit since the fabric of the blazer hangs a little bit closer to your body than the coat does so the blazer is thrifted sweater is Zara pants are Zara shoes are Revolve so this last look is one of her more recent looks actually that I pulled from her Instagram story and I've seen her, I know she's pregnant right now, but I have been loving the long knit dresses paired with just a long knit something. So whether it's a trench coat, whether it's a wool coat, whether it's a cardigan, whatever it is, I've been with the tall boots, I've been loving this whole look. And I actually based the sweater dress that I am wearing right now off of some of these looks that have been inspired by her. I thrifted this dress in one of my most recent thrifting my Pinterest board videos. So if you have not watched that, make sure to check that out. But I have just been loving this outfit. So I definitely wanted to recreate one of these. So I just opted for the knit sweater dress. This is the only one that I have. So I chose black and then I decided to pair it with a long trench coat. So this trench coat is actually thrifted. It's just from a local thrift store and it's a lot longer, obviously, that you can tell, than my Burberry trench coat, which is why I thought that it would be perfect to pair with the dress so that it was longer than the dress and kind of flowed to the bottom. So it gave it kind of a more loose, casual feel rather than something super structured. And then, obviously, the heeled boots from Revolve. And that completes the look. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like this series of recreating celebrity outfits. Let me know who you want to see next in the comments or if you want me to do Rosie again, because I will. But thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.